Hi everybody, so what you're seeing here is gameplay from Watch Dogs Legion. So in this video, I'm going to try and answer the question that if you like DayZ, will you like and should you buy and play Watch Dogs Legion? Now the first thing I've got to say is that Watch Dogs Legion, it's not a great game, okay? After having played it for several hours, you know, it's not great, it's good, it's okay, you know, it's a game worth playing. Uh, but I would always say, make sure you get it when it's on a sale. I picked it up for the PC, um, really cheap. I think it was £8 on CD keys. You know, which, that's the price of a couple of posh coffees, isn't it? Which I think is definitely worth checking it out. And I had watched some, well, quite a lot of videos before that, where I saw the look of the game, and I thought, I like the look of this. I want to I wanna really give it a go. And I'd never played any of the Watch Dogs games before. So it kind of inspired me maybe to have a go with like Watch Dogs 2 as well. So it's not great, but but it's a good game. It's also really woke as well. So if you're a certain age like me, where maybe um, the woke point of view, you know, can be a bit can be a bit funny, then you'll find a lot of that in this game, which um, it's really interesting anyway. It, it it's interesting comparing how London is right now, you know, as a British person, and, and the state that, that London is in, with the state that this future London is in, with different things that have happened, and kind of the fact that things are kind of a bit topsy-turvy. Anyway, also, when you're playing Watch Dogs Legion, it's, it, I think it's better if you do a little bit of your own role-playing in it, because, for example... Uh, with the driving that I've come across so far anyway, as long as you don't bash into any police or the um, military contractors, um, the police contractors or ambulance or something like that, you can pretty much do what you like as you're driving along. So you can bash into other cars, you can go through red lights, you can go the wrong way down one-way streets and all that sort of stuff. You know, zooming along really, really fast. And I think that kind of breaks immersion a bit. So... I prefer just to drive around, not not completely following the highway code, but following most things. You know, I mean, I'll go through red lights and stuff like that, but I kind of, you know, I keep things reasonable anyway. And also, with this game, it gets way, way better after you've played it for a couple of hours because when your characters first start off, they're a little bit underpowered and you're not really quite sure what you should be doing either in terms of going in um, with weapons and shooting people or being more stealthy and I'll kind of explain a little bit more of that in a minute as well but once you've been playing it for a few hours you get the upgrades that allow you to really make those decisions and make the gameplay much more interesting so you know why would you like this if you like Daisy and I think probably the, one of the first reasons is that you can approach this game in many many different ways you you know you're not forced to play it in a particular way this is not a shooter say in the way that something like um one of its sister uh, titles like the division is you know the division is a third person shooter you you know you can't get around it any other, other way in Watch Dogs legion yes you can go in guns blazing if you like if you're if the particular character you're playing has got an assault rifle and you could shoot your way through you know firing throwing explosives at people but you can definitely stealth it out and at the moment you know, in my playthrough, I'm really enjoying the stealth side of it. I've only had to use my weapons on missions where um, I've been attacked by lots of enemies on purpose, you know, where it's a bit like a horde mode, where they all come in and you've got to kind of stay alive or defend a, a thing. Um, or I've made a mistake and got myself into trouble. In all the other situations, I've been really stealthy. And I've really enjoyed it because... The stealth mechanics are, are quite good, you know, in the way that you can hide behind things and you can make yourself kind of go invisible with the special tech that you have. But you don't have to be all stealth or all guns blazing. You know, you can play, you know, somewhere in between as well. In the same way with something like DayZ, you know, you can choose to play PvP and go to Northwest Airfield on a public server or a community server and, and fight people, or you can stay out of the way and just go PvE and enjoy hunting and growing and farming and, and surviving that way. So it doesn't hem you in. Um, you can also make lots of use of the environment. So, you know, we're in a near future London, so there's drones that are flying around. You can hack those and take control of them. There's cameras, there's cars, and loads and loads of other vehicles that you can you either jump into or sort of take control of. Um, and you can even climb onto the bigger drones and kind of fly around to get to the hard to reach places. But probably what I think is the 
is the best reason why you'll like playing Legion if you like DayZ. Because, you know, they are, you're probably watching this thing, well, they're pretty different games, Rob, aren't they? And that's because of immersion, you know? Um, the world that has been created um, with this London, with its day and night time cycles, with its different weather, is really is very special indeed. And these I'm really attracted to this type of game, these open world games like DayZ, like um, Watch Dogs Legion, and, you know, think about sort of re- recent titles. Thinking like even even things like um, Cyberpunk 2077 and Hogwarts Legacy. We have these large open worlds where an immense amount of work has been done to to create these immersive things. You know, and strolling through the night um, is an amazing immersive experience. It re- really is. I mean, obviously, this is a very different world to DayZ. Um, but if you enjoy immersive open worlds then this is definitely worth checking out. I mean, it kind of... Sometimes it makes me a little bit sad, really, with the, the amount of work that the, the open world team puts in, to put, in this case, into London. The fact that they create this amazing city with all this stuff going on and all these interactions happening with people interacting with each other in the vehicles. And if the game isn't successful because the gameplay team... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of simplifying game development here. But because, you know, they don't pull off... You, you know, pull the rubber out of the hat to produce a great game, and then the game isn't as success, successful as it should be, um, and and the game kind of then then kind of slowly dies a death, doesn't it? Um, especially when they don't have official mod support like these games don't. I mean, you there are plenty of mods that you can get for Legion on PC anyway when you go to somewhere like Nexus Mods, but there's nowhere near the number of mods like you would get for something like Skyrim or something that had official Steam support through mods. And I just think it's a really it's a great shame that in sort of 10, 20 years' time, will we be able to go back to these, you know, the London of Watch the Legion to, ex- to experience it and play it? Um, and also because it's not that popular, it means that the mod, the, you know, the modders don't come along who expand on the world as well. But so, so kind of in conclusion, then, I think if you watch this footage and you think, oh, yeah, this does look a bit interesting, mate, especially if you're British and you've been, you've been to London or maybe you've been to London uh, as a tourist and you think, oh, actually, this looks quite cool. I like this idea. Remember, this is a single player. Um, you know, busy work, uh, typical Ubisoft game where you know you've got to go to go here and do this, go here and do this, following all these little icons around the map. You know, that's the type of game that they make. But if you see this content or videos from other creators, and it, this piques a little bit of interest in you, then I would say definitely do what I've done. Wait for Watch the Legion to go on deep, deep sales. It's really, really cheap, and definitely check it out then because. Even really hardcore Daisy players, you, you need a break from Daisy every now and again, don't you? And I think um, I don't. I, I think you won't be disappointed by um, dipping your toe into a little bit of Watchdogs Legion. Anyway, that's enough from me. What do you think? Put your questions and comments down below, and I will of course see you again soon. <laughs>